Hi guys, this is Paul here from PA Brunos, and uh, I made a little bit of a mistake with the new camera. I didn't hear the blink last time, beep last time, so I figured it, it worked this time, and it didn't. Um, so today we're doing the the Schneiderweiss uh, Aventus, uh, their wheat double block. It comes in at 8.2 percent. Bavaria, Germany, brewed according to the German uh, Leitheitsgebot, the uh, German purity law. Um, this is a bottle fermented wheat ale, and I'm going to tell you right now, according to what I've just done, do not put the sediment in. Just leave it as is. Keep the sediment in there. Um, it's unfiltered, unpasteurized, the whole deal. Ugh, excuse me. Even though the sediment did make this a lot darker and mistier looking, which I did expect, there's a huge amount of globule sludge. It just dis it was very displeasing to look at. I mean, this floated down like a, like a just like a like a eel, and it's laying on the bottom in a very moldy looking way, and it's very very unappealing. Plus, there's other chunks in it as well. Just because it's a wheat ale with this double bock, do not put, just don't. <laughs> you know, and um, I know that a lot of basically you, you're supposed to. Um, with wheat ales and, and bottle conditioned ales, basically bottle fermented and stuff like that. But this one, just do yourself a favor and don't do it. And um, I don't know if I showed it to you yet, but I'm going to do it again. Here it is. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry about the lighting. Event, Eventus. This is Germany's original wheat double box, it says. So we'll see about that. Bavaria, Kalheim, Germany. <coughs> Do not put, do not put the sediment in. Here's the, here's the crown on it. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right. Very rich, ripe banana. I can actually get spicy clove on it. Wash it around. And a sweet, sweet um, vanilla in there too. Cheers. Very mild. Very nice. Very sweet. There's a malty back to it. Mm, sweet malty back that mixes with the banana, the vanilla, and the clove. A nice soothing ale. It's very enjoyable. Mmm, wow. Ah. Ooh. And it does, it actually lingers on your tongue. At first, I didn't think it just disappeared immediately before I, I restarted the camera. I took a sip. But this is very, very enjoyable. It does linger. It's nice and rich, too. I even think you can get a little bit of a hop on there, too. Not a lot of bitterness or anything, so it's not, if they did put hops in it, it's, it's probably like a late hop because there's a like a, a spiciness to it with um, that, that shows kind of in my mind a little bit of a hop presence. It's very enjoyable, extremely easy to drink, very smooth. There's nothing in the throat at all, no bitterness, no flavors, nothing. It's all just in your mouth, up your nose. You're just breathing this buttery, it's very buttery, buttery. Smooth, creamy, banana, clove, vanilla flavors. Mm. It's not very, it's very dark and broody though with the flavors and the, and the, and the aromas and stuff. 
It's not as lively as, as a wheat beer. It's not as summery as a wheat beer. It's something that you can really enjoy. And you're like, ah, you know, it makes you, makes you go up. This is very, mm, kind of down low, kind of thick, that overtone in, in the men mentality with this. So it, it could, it might not be for everybody, but it's very good. Uh, t this bottle conditioning stuff is for the birds, though. Uh, that the way that looked, I mean, I gave it a really good rigorous shake around, dumped in it. It was a very nice pour. So, and the head was perfect. But then I just looked it up like this to the light, and I just saw this stuff just go down. I don't know. I doubt I can. I can show it to you. It's one of those things I don't know if you can see or not. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's 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 nasty. It actually turned my stomach just looking at it floating around, and I can handle a lot. I'm a dad, <laughs> and you have to handle a lot when you're a father of gross things. So, I think the fact that I knew I was going to drink it, <laughs> I think that was the thing. Everything else that I handle when I'm a father, you don't have to drink. I hope not, but uh, at least you didn't get to see me fiddling and fiddling with this thing because I hate it. I left my regular bottle open out in the car, uh, but it is very nice, very broody. I would say I like a little bit more malt to it too, because like a double bock. But I think because of the sweetness that's already there, if they didn't balance that with some kind of a hop bitterness, it would completely ruin this beer. So with that being said, it's very well balanced. I'm gonna give this one. It's a little different. It's not. It's not up to the the regular heavy vice in quality, but it's very good. The Aventus from Schneider Weiss is gonna get an eight out of ten from PA Brew News. This has been Paul, and I uh, hope to see you again. Cheers.